I've, there's been many, many things the Lord have, have shared with, with us. You know, he told us we were created, we fall, we were redeemed, we are in a process of transformation, and we're trying to get, to, uh, we're trying to shine like the sun in the kingdom of our Father. Amen. Amen? Yes. We learn from Psalms 84, verse 11, God said, no good thing he want to withhold from us. And as a result, he will give us present grace. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. One of the things, so you know, in the process as we've been talking about this, and we, we talk a lot about this, we saw how sin reigned through death, how much evidence through the generation, through the nation, through the culture, through the all different society. And grace, amen, is abounding right now to do the very same thing. It won a race through every nation, all people, all culture, every civilization. Mm -hmm. We know the requirement for grace reigning. The Bible said grace reigned through righteousness. Amen. Well, we have one form. We know this. Every Christian, every kingdom citizen, amen, of the righteousness, amen, of position brought into right standing, right relationship with God. I'll say it different. By God's own hands, he put you in the righteousness of entitlement. Where you're in a position that grace must reign because just like a, a child will be, if the father died, become the, the heir, the inheritance just by position. Mm -hmm. By righteousness, you enter a position of entitlement where grace can reign. And grace has the right to reign because of the position of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I've been strategically positioned in God. I've been strategically positioned in God. So his grace can flow. So grace grace bountifully. bountifully and so are you and so are you say it again i've been strategically positioned in righteousness i've been strategically positioned in righteousness through the call and the hands of god through the call and the hands of god that grace will flow that grace will bountifully bountifully in the name of in the jesus. name of jesus the name of jesus you need to know this and these are things you need to keep ministering to yourself Despite what's happening around you or out the surrounding and the elements. Amen. You have come, this game is win by dice tomos. Dice tomos meaning what God say, I'm reinforcing. There's a process we call self-talk. Mm -hmm. Self-talk doesn't matter what nobody else is saying. Self-talk is what you are saying to yourself. Now there are two kinds of self-talk. You understand? One is the echo, meaning I verbalize it. The other one is what I'm thinking what? Inside. inside. Both are talking to me. Mm -hmm. One, I'm kind of just saying it or declaring it or including others in it. The other one, I'm just speaking to myself. Mm -hmm. This self-talk, it is crucial. It is imperative to speak thy still most, meaning in alignment mm -hmm. with God. This is John 5, 30. Jesus said, everything I see the Father do, I'm doing it. So it is in, it's imperative to understand how to let your self-talk reflect what God is saying by you. Mm -hmm. And God said, through the blood of Jesus, through the death of Jesus, I brought you into right standing. Amen. I brought you into a right relationship. You understand? So grace can flow. So you can have favor in every situation, circumstance, condition. So blessing can consistently chase you down. And you can be in the truth to stay free. Jesus brought this in John 1, 17. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So your position allowed this to accentuate, to grow, to abound. But it's important you embrace it. Don't, the Bible said in Ephesians, don't be vague and foolish or talkless. About this concept, which meaning you you have to apply your your mind a little bit to go. I, I gotta get this thing into me, mm. not just as an idea, mm. but as a part of how I live and breathe and believe and stand my conviction. Amen. Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. Despite mm -hmm. what's happening, the whole idea of the outer surrounding is to influence you to take on what it's influential process. It's self talk. It's self talk. <laughs> the question is which. You, you understand? The question is, which one do you zero in? Do you lock in? Mm -hmm. We all believe in something. Mm -hmm. Either your environment is administering to you or you are administering to your environment. environment. Mm -hmm. If you have an excellent self-talk and beliefs, you are not allowing your environment to minister to you. Mm -hmm. You minister to it. You know, there's a wonderful process. Now, write this down. Write this down. I want you to write this, this concept down. Because you're going to need this to be effective and efficient. I need to believe, you understand, or fix myself, you understand, on some purpose, whatsoever it is for you. I need to believe or fix myself or tie myself. These are just different words for the same thing. 
You understand? On a perspective, an objective, a task. The Bible calls it the vision. I need a vision. Mm. I need a vision of something I'm trying to do, something I'm trying to accomplish. I'm just giving you different words for the same thing. Yeah. I need a goal. I need a goal. I need something to work with. You see? Yes, I need something to, to put let my energies, my everything come to that point. I need a goal. You know, Pastor Charles sent out a wonderful, I've heard of this movie a long time, I've never watched it. Um, a wonderful movie clip a few, about, uh, two or three weeks ago called The Legend of um, Bagavans. Bagavans. Uh, Bagavans with Will Smith and um, Matt Damien. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful movie. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and, and Will Smith is trying to focus Matt Damon. So he tell him, watch at one of the golfer. And he had this thing, and, and anybody, um, any designer, every one of you have this, every human being, have a synthetic set, is cr creative imagination, and a synthetic sight. The synthetic is your mathematical sight. The way how you process things, how you look at things logically, I am here, I need to do one, two, three to get it here, to get this. Mm -hmm. you, you so your synthetic imagination is your, is your one of um, organization. It's your organization. Oh, you synchronize. Another word for sy synthetic is synchronize it. Put it in order. Sequ mm -hmm. In sequence. Mm -hmm. But you also have your creative imagination, which means you can see it complete. Not in sequence, in, you see it finish. When you look at it, you know, Brother Courtney, and any, any, most all of you can do this. Now, we all lean to one side or the other, but you all have both. You know, some people, there, what we call a visionary, when they look at a thing, they always see it finished. They always go, I can see a house here. Mm -hmm. I can see a business here. Mm -hmm. I can see a car. Not necessarily they know the methodology to do it. Mm -hmm. This is the synthetic. This is the process event. But you all have it. And we all are one way or the other more. Creative imagination people like to dream one a lot. Synthetic people like to do what? Do a lot. They're always methodically doing, planning, systematically doing something. But we all have it. And a different thing. So you need to use your creative faculty you know, to, to see a goal, see a vision. And in the movie, one of the golfers, before he hit the shot, the, Will Smith turned to Matt Damon and said, I want you to look at him. He zeroes in into the fairway. You can look like he's, look how he's searching for like a place, an image. And you could see he's just concentrating, just trying to visualize where he wants to go, go to. Yeah. Because he can't make his bodies and his idea come to that point until he can what? See it. Yes. If not, your body and your energies and your ideas don't know where to what? Go. In fact, they don't know which one has to be gone and which one must come because you are not giving them a point to what? Enter. Mm -hmm. You want to say something? Before I remember in, when I was training in bowling, my coach would tell me, like, so, so say for instance, if you want to spare like a couple pins or whatever, mm -hmm. wherever it is um, at the end of the lane, imagine that you've knocked them down already. Yes. Like, imagine that they're not there. Like, focus on where the pins are and like aim at it and like pretend like you already smashed them. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to. You see, one of the things we are confused, athletes typically work this out, they, 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 even in the development stage, they figure it out. What most people do, when they want to get to that point, they're trying to, I better control my body, control my hands, control my energy. Where does this focus all your power? Right here! Yeah. Yeah. You're no longer there. You can't get there. Yeah. Because everything is now on the mechanics. Yes. And everything has to be delivered, therefore, into the mechanics. Do you understand? You have to trust the mechanics. Mm -hmm. So in, 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 a, in a sport like golf, they go, trust the swing. Trust your thoughts, your feeling, and energy will go to where you project. Amen. You have to trust this. And what's typically messing it up, you don't trust it. Yes, yes. So you're trying to fix it with your mind. Yes. I better swing left. I better swing so right. True. I better lift it up. I better drop it down. This whole process is making a disaster of the process. You are constantly using your synthetic to interfere with what? The creative. Mm -hmm. You can think about it and you can work on it, but when you're ready to hit, the synthetic has to what? Is that a there or it's not yeah. there? It needs to go. Yeah. Yeah. It just needs to show up. Yeah. The creative imagination must take over. Amen. Does this make sense? Amen. You have to trust God and trust the abilities He gives you that they're going to be a convergence of thoughts, energies, action into the vision. Amen. The emphasis had to be on the vision or there's no forward what? Progress. Amen. And while you typically change this, you're allowing the synthetic to break down based on everything that's going on around you. Yeah. 
What do people think? Uh, what if I hit it left? What if I hit it right? What? Mm -hmm. do, do you understand? Mm -hmm. Sorry to add to that part. I'm just uh, I'm just saying this reminded me of like being coached and um, what he had said also. So there's two two hits, right? You have the first hit, which is when all the pins are there. Mm -hmm. But then when you you don't hit everything, then you have the spirit. Mm -hmm. Now whatever pin that's still left, my coach said, don't look at anyone around you. Don't look at what you're doing. Focus on the pin the whole time, the whole time yes. until you hit it. Yes. And the whole time, so that you're not distracted. No. You know that it's like what you want, and you get it. This is why there's something called fundamental. Fundamentals is I'm going to work on the fundamentals. Yeah. Now these are these are called technical. These are called the synthetic structure of my or my body must behave, what the swing must look like, how the tool must function. You understand? Know but once this is this this fundamental are in place, I must now go to. You understand? The creative imagination, the vision. Mm -hmm. What in effect, where am I gonna you understand, place or send these fundamental? Where are they gonna go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They need a place, they need a home. Direction. They need direction now. Mm -hmm. So I need an objective that my fund fundamentals can enter into convergence. Mm -hmm. Because if if stuff I didn't have fundamentals, my lack of fundamental will still go to convergence. It just won't be pretty. Mm -hmm. But it's still gonna go there. Yeah. Do, do you understand? But just because my lack of fundamentals when to go there, your fundamentals must also go there. So you've got to know when to make the shift. So what the first thing you need to get, you have to, if grace is going to reign, you need to have a goal, an objective, a place, a thing, a situation you're dealing with. You want to get accomplished. Mm -hmm. You want to see true. You want to see come to fruition. Mm -hmm. Does this make sense? Yes. So I need a goal. I need a goal. First things first. First things first. first. Does this make sense? Yes. You see? Then once you get this now, you understand? You must hold this goal now in place by your thinking. The Bible said meditate. I must keep meditating on this picture. Mm -hmm. keep, keep forming it and reforming it and refining it. Yes, yes, yes. This process of this picture and me thinking and recreating it in my imagination engages my will. It tells the will, grab all the fundamentals and everything we have and send it to this thing that I have visualized and I'm thinking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does this make sense? Yes. So I need a goal. And to keep it in place or it will change, I must use my what? My creative imagination. Mm -hmm. Keep seeing it in the mind. Keep re 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 reprinting the, print, the picture. There's a process in computer called refresh. Keep refreshing mm -hmm. it to yourself. Why? I want my will, because what pulls everything in place? It's your will. Mm -hmm. It is his job to summon all the energies, all the abilities, all the fundamental, all the resource inside, and those that are available to you outside, those that the universe God has given to accompany you. Mm -hmm. His job is to send them to this place you're going. Mm -hmm. Do you understand this? Yes. Now once you have this, all of this is done by faith. You understand? I see it. Yes, I keep it in place by faith. I engage all of my faculty by faith. Yes, now, you, even though you now have the picture, and you can hold the picture, and think of will as a nail. I, 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 I have the picture. Yes, I use my hand to think and to hold it. The will is like a nail. I'm going to nail it to keep it in place. But I need one more thing to keep it together. Yes, I need a major reason or purpose why I'm creating a picture. Yes. Because if not, when the wind and the yes. structures and different things start coming, yep. I will allow them to change my picture. You understand? Or to stop me from thinking to keep it there or to weaken my will. So you need a purpose or a reason yes. you understand? to keep your will engaged on the picture yes. and the refreshing process of thinking. Yes. Does this make sense? Yes. You see? So I need a reason. What is the purpose for creating the picture? What is the purpose to keep refreshing it? When I say refreshing, I mean keep thinking about it. What is the purpose for engaging your will? Because this purpose will hold the will in place. We call it conviction. Conviction comes from purpose yes. of process, event, based on a vision. Yes. Does this make sense? Yes. Why are you doing it? Mm -hmm. Nobody can do this for you. You have to know this one. Yes. I want to glorify God. That's why I'm doing it. Because I owe so much to God to save a wretched man like me. You understand? I want to maximize all the potential God put in me. I think it is unfair yes. and absolutely, you understand? Just absolutely not right. A tragedy and a travesty mm -hmm. for all of God's potential. This is, I'm finished, I'm, I can only speak from my perspective. Do you understand? To die without me releasing it. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
I think it's a tragedy and absolutely unacceptable not to give the people the gift which God sent to them. This becomes my reason and my purpose for glorifying God to maximize in my life and helping people. You have to have a major reason or purpose. Yes. Why did you create the vision? Yes. Why? Why are you holding it? Yes. Why did you summon your will? Yes. 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 When you summon your will like a Jenny, go, why did you call me into action? Mm. Why? What is the purpose? Why do you want it? Jesus, these are not the best, but even some people get it done. Even by, I just want more clothes. Yeah. I just want to look nice. Mm. I just want a new car. I just want to see a place. Yeah. I just want to, I don't know. How much more the church that have major reason why? Mm. The church have a lot of, it's like Jing said, they have a lot of why they want to get it done. But they're terrible at the creative imagination, seeing it. Mm -hmm. They're terrible at keeping it in place. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. They're terrible at engaging the will because they can't keep it in place and yes. do not create vision. Yes. Reasons by itself is not enough. Reason will keep propelling you to create the vision, mm -hmm. to see it. Yes. Reason holds vision. And refreshing it and will in place. Mm -hmm. Does this make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So you need the vision. Yes. You need to keep thinking. This is yes. two. The vision is one. To keep thinking or refreshing is two. Yes. Your will is three. Purpose is four. Purpose only. Can you see it or am I losing you? Now I'm trying to paint the picture so you can see it. Can you all see it? Mm -hmm. Amen? And the last thing, number five. You need a way to block out all the people, things, and situations that can, you understand, interrupt any of this. Yes. All the people, things, and situations that doesn't correspond with the vision, yes, yes. doesn't support the kind of thought, doesn't yes. support the engaging of the will, yes. and doesn't support the purpose, has to go. Yes. That's right. I don't care if they're your mother, your sister, your brother, your uncle, your, I don't care who they are. Yes. In this season and period of time, why them engage? In this process, they have to go. You can't have things, you understand, changing your purpose. You can't have things weakening the will. You can't have things changing the refreshing process. And you can't have people or things changing the vision. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. This is the mystery of most successful people. Right. They have the, where it's like, oh, you say, they go into this zone or this place. Yes. We're like something, your wife or other, I haven't been able to reach him for months since he's been working on this project. Why? You have to maintain the vision. Mm -hmm. You have to keep refreshing. The will is very engaged. Mm -hmm. The purpose is extremely strong. <laughs> and he's excellent at defending, amen, mm -hmm. against, you, you understand, mm -hmm. all the distraction. Yeah. Because if you take distraction, you're going to just sit back and go, here is your vision. You understand? Here is your will and your refreshing yeah. and your purpose. No. Just go get it. No. No. Life would be easy. No. Oh, Jesus. Please, go ahead. Because that's exactly what I was feeling this morning. Like Amen. with the W and the D. Amen. It's like there's so many, like all, there's all these desires and people have these visions and these dreams, but it, they can't get to the do. Mm -hmm. Like they can't manifest it. No, there's too much because distraction. Too much, yeah, too much. What defeat most of them is number five. Many people have great ideas or vision or objective. Mm -hmm. Some of them can even keep it. They can daydream. Yeah. Some of them can even engage the will. Yeah. You understand? Some of them they even have good reason. This, this people, this nation, yeah. this culture, my family, the church, the kingdom need it. Hmm. What many of them are not good at is keeping themselves from getting this distracted. When Jesus was, after he painted the picture to his disciples, he tell them, do not be wishing everybody well. Hey, see, I'm passing through. Good to see you. I mean, tongue tied, I look you up. Jazzy, you're wearing black. Sister Glow, he go, no! He go, don't wish anybody well. Go to the point. He go, no wishing and farewell and having a wonderful goal. Do it. You got to teach and do. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It's the, the number one thing I believe defeat most human beings is number five. Distraction. Distraction. Mm -hmm. Go back and read the Bible. You see prophets get devoured by lions because of distraction. Mm -hmm. Go look at it. Mm -hmm. Look, in the, look in the book of the prophet. Look in the gospel or the epistle. Mm -hmm. Distraction. Mm -hmm. It kills us. Can't stay on task. Just like our child. You can't send him nowhere without an adult. You know what I'm you, God can't send them. Yes. All down the line. Distraction. Look at David. Distraction. 
Saul, what the people that start to leave and, and everything around him. The, yes. Distraction. Yes. Mm -hmm. Forgetting the vision at hand. Mm -hmm. Same with Adam and Eve. Yes. yes. Ten, ten, ten garden Perfect. God give them a focus point. Distraction. You listen. All is important, but I think you gotta guard against number five the most personally. Mm -hmm. In my experiences, personally, and from thy studies, mm -hmm. I find number five is the most challenging one to deal with. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times the distraction is not bad things, mm -hmm. but they're not the one. The right they don't support the vision. It's just mm -hmm. other things. They're just other things. Thank you. They're just other things. Mm -hmm. Amen. Of course, it's a question. Um, how do you, like, you know the, the story of the Good Samaritan when, you know, the priest passed the him down and, and the Levite passing by, they're probably on a purpose, right? Yep. They're probably you know, going on something. But how do you like how do you know when you need to stop? Amen. It it has to correspond. Yes. Yeah. And you might in fact the easiest way to know that what serve you stop on should always correspond with the vision. That's right. Because all your energy and resources come into conversion. Mm -hmm. And it says you break the vision for a minute. Mm -hmm. It can't stay broken for long periods of time. Yes. After that building up momentum becomes what? Mm -hmm. Difficult again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you might stop, let's say, be a good Samaritan, but then I must get right back into my... In fact, the man did that. He, got, he yes. took him and then he got, I have to go here, and when I pass again. Yes. Do you understand? Amen. Yes. You have to stay engaged. Amen. And this is not a solution. I hope no person, people, or thing come to distract me. That's not reality. <laughs> oh, they're coming. Yeah. Tell somebody they'll come. 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 Distraction is sure to come. Distraction. Trying time to hold the vision is sure to come. Tribulation, unceaseless attack are sure to come. Do you understand? <coughs> In fact, you, I, I, I don't know. I guess people pray for all kind of stuff. Most of my prayer is just to hold on to this process. Do you understand? Lord, I am losing the vision. I'm having a tough time keep re keeping the refresh. I, might, I have so much going on in my life. Yes, you, a lot of my prayers right here. Yes, yes. Does that make sense? Yes. If you can catch those five things, mm. every time you're about to, make sure you're clear in the vision. Mm. Know how to hold it in place. If not, it will fade out by other thoughts. In fact, your ability to keep refreshing the vision with your thoughts, keep all the stupid thoughts away from you because yes. you are too busy engaging your thoughts. Faculty, thoughts is like a faculty, like a factory. You have it doing something different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does it make sense? Your will will stay strong because of the vision. Mm -hmm. The purpose will secure it. Mm -hmm. So it will have the vision pulling it forward and the purpose pushing it from the back. And the will will be in place. Amen. Then you just got to make sure nobody touched the first four. Mm. You see, you just need God to put a perimeter now around you that the first four doesn't get interfered with. Mm -hmm. Does this make sense, church? Yes. And if we can do this, we will accomplish Luke 2.40. The Bible said the boy, Jesus, the child, grew and became what? Strong. Mm -hmm. His vision became more powerful. Mm -hmm. And his ability to re rehearse it, to die almost became powerful. And his will was fully engaged. That even when his be beloved disciple is walking with him and he goes, Do you see the vision? Let me keep rehearsing it and tell you about it. What will happen to the Son of Man? You got to say, and he goes, Look up, I must get to Jerusalem. My face is set to get there. I have a purpose to glorify my Father, live my highest life, and help my people. And his beloved disciple Peter behind him, the Lord. That shall not happen. Let's go here. He go, get behind me, Satan. Mm. Satan is nothing more than a perpetual this one. Oh, Jesus go, get lost. Yeah. Mm. He go, you could never have the division that I have in you. Mm. Or you would not have told me this. Mm. The fact you're working against the vision tell me Satan is what? Lay hold of you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand this? Mm -hmm. You got to. You got to get a handle on this process. If not, you will not understand Luke 2 4. You won't grow in strength. The vision won't get clearer. Mm. The refreshing process, the ability to think and imagine it, will not become quicker and sharper. Mm. Your will then will not engage stronger. Mm. Yeah. And the purpose will not become, you understand? You see, greater. Mm. You see? You have to. Then you will understand what it is 
to grow in the mouth of the boy, grew in strength and grew in wisdom. You will start to discover the mysteries of the vision. It starts to speak to you, and you are speaking to it. Hallelujah. Do, do you understand? It's a lie. I love this line in the movie. So Ben Ogan is, is looking into the in, into, into the into the, the fairway to see where he wants this shot. He's trying to visualize where the ball is going to go and how it's going to go there. And Will Smith turned to Matt Damon. He got look at him like he's searching, he's concentrating. He got as he's trying to find in this place. He got he has so much shot, but he will not choose none of the shot. The shot will choose him. Mm. He got, as he visualized, all the convergence will come to go. This is how we express ourselves. Amen. As you start to visualize, between the refreshing and the will engage and the purpose, they will give birth to the way. Mm. How to get it done. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Why well, most times you don't find it, you can't make converge. You can't make all of them come to get there. Mm -hmm. Unless they will stop it, it's some form of distraction. Once all of that is in place, the, the last number five is what we call discipline. Discipline is nothing more than I am very disciplined or com committed or convicted to my purpose. I won't let nobody or no one take me off of it. Mm. Yeah. Does this make sense? Mm. So you have to learn to stay in this place so you get strong. And the, 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 the process releases wisdom through the grace of God to you. You're understanding it better. You're getting more familiar, more acquainted. And the Bible said the boy grew in wisdom and grace. Mm. Amen? And favor and blessing and reality. Yes. If the first, if the second Adam had to do this, do you think you have to do it? Oh, yes. You have to do this. Mm -hmm. Or you, let me tell you, you might have a lot of dreams and a lot of desire, and you are saved and you are righteous, but you'll interfere with grace reigning. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not saying you can do this on your own. Don't be fooled. Mm -hmm. All of this has to be done with prayer and petition to God for the grace of Jesus to help you make the vision clear and bold and to help you to keep it in place and to help you to engage the will and to help you to have the purpose mm. worthy mm. of an eternity. Yes. Because you can have all kind of purpose mm -hmm. and you will need Jesus more than ever mm. to keep the wolf off of you mm. because you are a dove in a wolf domain. Mm -hmm. You are a sheep mm -hmm. among wolves. They're constantly looking to pull you apart. Yeah. Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. But you must grow. You must grow in wisdom and strength. Grace must flow. Look at somebody and say, grace must flow. Grace, grace must flow. I must stop interfering with grace. I must I'm stop interfering with grace. By living and working. By living and working. And walking. And walking. Without, vision. Without vision. Without vision. Without goals. Without goals. Without keeping the vision in place. Without keeping the visions in place. Without engaging my will. Without engaging my will. I'm having a strong purpose. I'm having a strong purpose. To stabilize it. To stabilize it. I'm making sure. I'm making sure. Through the grace of God. Through the grace of God. It's founded in Jesus. It's founded in Jesus. I have a perimeter around me. I have a perimeter around me. That keeps out the wolf. That keeps out the wolves. You've got to know this concept. Thank you, Jesus. I feel I should stop preaching now. Mm -hmm. No, you're just starting. He's done. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Can you see what I'm talking yes, about? Yes. We think because we are in righteousness, right standing, you're saved. Hmm. Not only you can do nothing. No. Hmm. I have children. They grow up with me in the house. I'll tell you plain, not one of them can do 50% of what I can do. In fact, I don't think 30%. Did they grow up with me all their life? Mm -hmm. Aren't they in the same house? Mm -hmm. Same environment? Never had a different environment? Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They got to be able to get their vision. Mm -hmm. In fact, all of them even belongs, give back their life to the Lord. Mm -hmm. But you got to learn to work with Him now. Mm -hmm. You see, through the grace of God, grace is going to reign. In this church, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. Amen. Amen. we are going to get strong. Yes, yes Lord. We are going to grow in wisdom. Yes. Grace is going to flow yes. with the favor and the blessing and the yes. perpetual reality we Amen. ought to be in and stay in. Yes.